Representative Scott Desjardins is a Republican of Tennessee, and he's an interesting character. He, of course, is a big time family values guy. He has a history of voting anti-drug, so he's big time in favor of the drug war. He's pro-life, he's monumentally pro-life. And he campaigned on all of these issues, and of course, when he was, uh, when he, he actually is still um, a representative, but he, he votes along those lines too. So every anti-abortion thing that comes up, he's for it. Everything in expanding the drug war, he's for it. Uh, family values, he's all for it. Or anti-gay, I should say, he's for that. Well, uh, he ran into a little trouble, if you guys remember. It turned out he had a mistress. Then news eventually broke about that. And we learned it wasn't just one mistress, it was multiple mistresses. Then we got word that uh, when he was a doctor, he would prescribe one of his mistress's pain pills, even though she didn't need them, so it was to get high. And then we found out he smoked weed, uh, oftentimes with one of his mistresses. Now, as if all that wasn't enough, when his wife found out about all his affairs, he put a gun to his head and threatened to kill himself, and she had to talk him down out of it and he was flipping out and having like a mental breakdown. As if all of that wasn't enough, Mr. Pro-Life, get this, begged one of his mistresses to get an abortion after he found out she was pregnant. Now, when you read the personal emails, because they were released too, and what they were saying back and forth to each other, oh, you see, this guy's a peach. This guy's a gem. So she said to him, okay, well, are you gonna, you're gonna come with me, right? I mean, we're kind of in this together. And he's like, no, go by yourself. Oh, man. And then she didn't do it originally. And he asked later on, did you get that taken care of? And she said, no, and now it might be too late. And he was like, go do it anyway. What are you talking about? Go. Yeah, really pro-life this guy is here. Now, not only that, so one of his mistresses, he forced to get an abortion. Then we heard his wife got an abortion too because they weren't ready for a child. Now, I love that because look, what do the uh, pro-life movement always say? Uh, nope, no abortion, we need to criminalize abortion or if we do, don't criminalize it, only in very rare circumstances, uh, life of the mother or, or uh, the uh, fetus is gonna die anyway or uh, very, very rare uh, rape and incest and that's it. And here he is going, yeah, we weren't ready. And the economy was so-so. Get, get, get rid of it. No, terminate, terminate. Classic uh, Republican 101 hypocrite move. When it's you, if you uh, need an abortion, well, obviously, uh, you're immoral and you're wrong, and I pass judgment on you all day long. But when it's me, look the other way. Uh, uh, nothing to see here, and it's totally moral when I do it. What a sick human being. Now, uh, I tell you and rehash this entire story to give you a couple pieces of news. After all of these different parts of the scandal broke before the election, uh, now remember, he was running in Tennessee, very, very conservative area, the fourth district of Tennessee, and when he ran for re-election, of course, they re-elected him. They re-elected him. The family values pro-life Republicans, anti-drug Republicans, elected the drug-doing, abortion-having, multiple times, multiple mistress-having, putting gun in mouth, threatening to kill himself, a hypocrite of, of a human being. Man, people are beyond stupid. This is like from the movie Idiocracy, it seems like. Now, I tell you all of that to tell you this. He was involved in another scandal now he inappropriately hit on a lot of his patients when he was a doctor. So the Tennessee Board of Medical Directors just punished him. Now, you're probably thinking with all of his track record or everything he did wrong, whether it be forcing somebody to get an abortion, doing drugs illegally, prescribing drugs illegally, uh, cheating on his wife, which obviously isn't a crime, but it's still questionable for your character, yada, yada, yada. You would think that the medical board would, uh, you know, they give him a hit here. What is, what is he on? Did they turn him into the authorities? Is he on probation? Is it sexual harassment charges? What is it? What is it? Their punishment is a $500 fine. This guy is the Teflon Don, man. 
and he's walking high. You know what lesson he took away from this? I'm fucking invincible. I could do whatever I want and there's no consequences associated with it and I could still claim to be a man of God and be a social conservative as I uh, try to have sex with every woman that walks by and then make them get an abortion. Those so-called Republicans, so-called conservatives, so-called family values people who voted for him in Tennessee need to take a hard fucking look in the mirror because they're anything but what they think they are.